Green Hornet. I put this drink toe-to-toe -to -toe with almost any drink in Buffalo. That's right, I said it. Do something, try it. <laughs> but no, it really is good. Welcome to Dig in Buffalo. Buffalo, Buffalo? That's not the right place. Welcome to Dig in Buffalo, brought to you by Orvins. I can think of like eight people that are gonna be so excited that this recipe is online. Uh, it's the first drink I had here. Uh, it's fantastic. I mean, for the most part, it is a mezcal base. We use agave de Cortez. I believe it is Santiago Matalan. Yeah, which is like the heart of Oaxaca uh, mezcal region. So we're gonna make the tomatillo shrub now. It's one of the components of the drink. Tomatillos, they look like little green tomatoes. Not accurate at all. Uh, in fact, they're closer related to the gooseberry than they are a tomato. Tomatillos themselves are very tart, very fruity, kind of sweet. They have a lot of liquid in them. It just adds a little more dimension and flavor. Jalapeno, funny thing about jalapenos, you never know what you're gonna get. You can cut this thing open and it can light you up like a serrano would, or it can cut open and taste like a bell pepper, which is wildly disappointing. Uh, you can always add more. It's not bacon, calm down. Cilantro, people either love it or hate it. Uh, don't let anyone cilantro shame you. Some kosher salt, always start light. You can always add more if it needs more. Can't take it out. We make everything in house for the most part. You know, I'm not growing limes out back. We juice everything in house every day. Lime juice, lemon juice, grapefruit juice. Almost done. Yeah, that feels right. All in. There's a lot of liquid in all that pulp right there. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, that's good. Sweetener, we're using that honey syrup. Half water, half honey. If you put in just pure honey, it's gonna crystallize. It's gonna be awful. Always step on the honey. A Little heavy on that one, because we have all those other acids that are going in, like lemon juice, for example. Ice, all right, if you're getting like that little chip ice, it's stop. Right, you're gonna water it down, it's not gonna be good. You got like 30 seconds to drink it. So make sure you have a decent sized cube, and then shake. The overall concept here was to provide a quality product, dress it up in a way that was approachable for people that are fairly unknown to it. Some people like a straw, some people like to save turtles. I'm just trying to have a drink. Cheers! It was great having you. I hope you learned a thing or two. That's it. Anybody? 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 Don't lie to me.